The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3rd, 1863, has awarded, in the name of the Congress, the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Robert J. Miller, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of life above and beyond the call of duty. Today, it is my privilege to present our nation's highest military decoration, the Medal of Honor, to one of these remarkable soldiers, Staff Sergeant Robert J. Miller, on January 25th, 2008. Rob and his team were in the remote northwest of Afghanistan. Their mission, clear a valley of insurgents who had been attacking Afghan forces and terrorizing villagers. So when they came across an insurgent compound, Rob and his men made their move, unleashing their fire and calling in airstrikes. Rob was up front, leading a patrol of two dozen Afghans and Americans on a narrow trail along the valley floor. The first, it was just a single insurgent jumping out from behind a boulder. Then the whole valley seemed to explode with gunfire. Within seconds, Rob and his patrol were pinned down. With almost no cover, Rob made a decision. He called for his team to fall back. And then he did something extraordinary. Rob moved in the other direction, toward the enemy, drawing their guns away from his team and bringing the fire of all those insurgents down upon himself. The fighting was ferocious. Rob seemed to disappear into clouds of dust and debris, but his team could hear him on the radio, still calling out the enemy's position. And they could hear his weapon, still firing as he provided cover for his men. And then, over the radio, they heard his voice. He had been hit. But still, he kept calling out enemy positions. Still, he kept firing. Still, he kept throwing his grenades. And then they heard it. Rob's weapon fell silent. I know that no words can ease the ache in your hearts. But I also know this. Rob's life and legacy endures. Rob endures in the pride of his parents. Phil and Maureen, you raised a remarkable son. Today and in the years to come, may you find some comfort in knowing that Rob gave his life doing what he loved, protecting his friends and defending his country. You gave your oldest son to America, and America is forever in your debt.